Hello everyone, uh, sorry for the wind, but I wanted to show you uh, what I just picked up from my county. Um, all this costs $210, the full plat, no flowers, uh, they usually bill them as like for butterflies and stuff like that, there's some milkweed, sedum, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's a bunch of flowers, uh, so I gotta find a place for that. Um, I really just bought all this stuff just to add some diversity. I'll probably plant them mostly in the same area. Um, not really that much of a flower person. But I am more of a tree person. And I got quite a lot. This year they had service berries. Um, which I picked up a number of those. Let me look at my list. Let's see, I got... Yeah, so I got 10 Norway spruce and then 10 northern white cedar. That was 60 bucks. And then for $6, I got two tulip trees. Then I got four American elderberry, six service berry, and then six nine bark, which are supposed to be really cool bushes, I suppose. Um, and a couple of these I'm going to give away all these service, service berry and elderberry. Sure, what I'm gonna plant in the area. Let me go show you at least where I'm gonna put all these uh, evergreen, evergreen oh, trees. Wind. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna go around and just take a little clips of actually planting this stuff. But um, I actually wish I'd ordered more trees. Should have doubled the order. But um, along this edge, I just want to get some evergreens. So I'll probably put a couple here. Probably a spot of three. Um, all along the edge just to kind of cut off from the neighbors and then I wanted to get kind of make a ring around the property then the service berries and whatnot I'll just randomly plant everywhere but it'll be the same kind of planting procedure as any of the other plants um, they're all bare roots so that makes it better better and easier to plant um, and I'll just use a simple regular shovel for the for most of them and then uh, for the, the flowers, I just use a little bit of trouble. Because um, a lot, like for instance, a lot of this area here is already filled out. And I've already put seeds everywhere and bushes and trees. But I want to plant out like on the edges. It would be nice to have like four ever bear, evergreen trees in this area. That way it blocks off all the light that comes from there. Because I have a mall right there and all that light comes through. So. Um, so I'm going to get the plant stick around I'll just kind of show you a little um, just the state of those trees. I'll show you what they came with and how damp they are and, and how well they were cared for. Because my county actually borders them through another nursery. And I don't even know what nursery it is, but um, they actually are just a go-between for our county. And uh, so, alright, we'll stick Stay tuned and uh, we'll get to planting. This video won't be as long. I don't really feel like recording and planting all throughout the day. Um, I have other videos that kind of go through the process, but I wanted to show you at least how these come, this bare root. So this is absolutely perfect. And this is a nine mark. Nine bark before, I guess they're really cool. I don't know, they don't produce any food, so it's not my main interest. But these are all really damp um, and easy to plant. A lot of this stuff, I guess you can throw a bowl with it, but it's not really going to help in any kind of way. Yeah, so I'm going to, it would be pretty easy just to plant these in little holes, a little hand, hand Maybe especially deep because of all the roots. You can get them spread out and all that. Um, so I'm gonna get to plant. I'll probably record one little bit if I can decide on one single place to plant all this. I was thinking about just putting them in a bed somewhere, but I'm not sure yet. But anyways, I'm gonna try planting these, and um, hope you guys are already planting um, and enjoying it. I mean, I like making videos and all that, but I'm here for the. I like. I like trees and not have a problem with the K2. 
camper and all that. So, all right. Well, you guys take care. All right. Bye bye. All right. I'll record at least one of these, these trees being planted. Uh, just took a couple, well, three shovel, shovelfuls, uh, backed it down, and now I'll just grab a bunch of this, even the green grass, uh, just to cover it all up, to act as a mulch. Um, and I'll continue that, cover up all the dirt, get rid of this crap. Um, so this is right by this power pole. And there's the famous riding lawnmower, just to kind of give you an idea. Then I'll place, I put one white cedar and then one of the other blue spruces, just like right here. That way hopefully it'll end up growing up and blocking some stuff. I might actually put three over here. Perhaps. But alright, let me get back to this. Alright, I'm going to cut it short here. I just wanted to say how actual like fun it is to just walk around with a little shovel and a handful of bushes and trees and just plop them down wherever. Um, I'll have to do another video to kind of show you how it all went down, but I basically went uh, plop, 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 uh, all over the place. And that's why I like this wild, wild style of growing that I just buy stuff and just plug stuff in. And just about everything ends up growing. And especially for the prices at that county sale. I mean, it's just ridiculous. $3 for a bush. Um, what was it? $2 or something? $3 for a three-year-old pine tree? Pretty awesome, but this is all I got for today. I still have some more trees to do. Um, I have to do out by the mailbox all the way over there. And uh, I got another 10, 10 trees, another five bushes or something to put in. So you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.